Hi, Sameer. Hi, Krishna. How are you? Nice, yeah, to, nice to see you face to face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to see the face of a successful man. So I was, <laughs> and I, not only me, but people want to see the face of successful man. And today, <laughs> you are the one. So, why yeah, don't you open thank you. your camera, if you are convenient. Uh, good to see you. People once pass, it is very difficult to see them and get the time mm -hmm. from them. <laughs> 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 so thank you so much that you just managed a few minutes. Definitely, I will not take much time. And No uh, problem. Because the, this conversation, I want to make it valuable uh, by discussing mm -hmm. a few tips and tricks which you have applied. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, despite what I supported, what I guided, definitely everyone mm -hmm. has their own learning, right? And that's yes. what we want to uncover so that other mm -hmm. can get benefited. That okay. what the aim of this conversation. So just okay. to, for the benefit of future PMP aspects, all right? Mm -hmm. So first thing first, why don't you introduce yourself before proceeding? <laughs> sure. Yeah, um, I am uh, almost uh, uh, IT healthcare uh, background, uh, IT guy, core IT guy, where uh, I was leading the teams also in the previous uh, uh, previous companies uh, where I where I was employed, and now also I am leading a subsystem team. Uh, and uh, I was always uh, um, looking at the PMP uh, certified guys and uh, wanted to be a PMP certified. <laughs> from uh, three to four years I uh, three to four years I was um, um, doing this research of uh, PMP or ITIL or many of the trainings or certifications are there but uh, I was uh, then I selected the PMP as a uh, my uh, I challenged myself and uh, I uh, went through the materials uh, whatever there in the Google or uh, wherever I can find uh, from the uh, the people who passed PMP I got the suggestions from them but uh, I went to them. Uh, yes, then uh, I uh, at the starting of this year, I decided that yes, at a need cost, I need to do the PMP uh, this time, yeah, within this year or maybe uh, June. Uh, I set myself target as a June. Uh, <laughs> this I already discussed with you. Uh, yeah. But yes, it slipped and uh, it went uh, 15 days ahead and <laughs> I, uh, I completed my PMP finally. But uh, yeah, it was almost as per the plan. So um, I almost have a 10 years of experience in uh, 11 years of experience in the IT, uh, uh, specifically in the healthcare domain where uh, uh, the EMR and the EHR electronic medical record, uh, electronic health records are being kept, developed and maintained. Uh, I work in operations also and I, I work uh, presently working in the development R&D field um, uh, for the Philips uh, healthcare solutions from the past two years. Yeah. Okay. You are serving healthcare industries. That's great. Yes. And people who yes. is watching this video or going to watch this video, they should be knowing that <laughs> PMP is for everyone, regardless yes. of your title, regardless of your Correct. industry, where are you working? Correct. It is most mm -hmm. wanted uh, 10 years back and even today. So Correct. people who want to really grow in their organization, even outside the organization, they should definitely go for the project management certification. Uh, right away, we had Krishna. He just started with his introduction and it's looking something interesting. He did research about so many certification, but eventually he decided to do PMP first. So that is what is the demand in the market. That is what people is crazy for because something is really there in the PMP that is adding value to the people and once if you are adding this PMP with your career it is really giving you a boost of confidence not only confidence but yes a lots of skills lots of uh, knowledge and you are getting ahead you are getting ease over others so that's the really amazing so Krishna uh, there are few more questions I would be asking and that is mm -hmm. really uh, needed to just uh, improve this conversation. So second thing is like uh, what was the biggest challenge for you while doing the PMP preparation? 
while doing the pmb preparations i uh, i also discuss with you during my mentorship the boundary <laughs> yeah. which what is the content i need to read and where i need to stop and uh, what is that beyond that there are so many concepts and it's like a ocean see there should be a specific boundary for the pmp so uh, when when we study co- with the consistency and other thing when we see out of uh, uh, out of whatever we have not read whatever the concept we have not read in the questions those things how to how to approach those things and what is the concept what is the exactly the boundary where i need to stop or where i need to there is a, there should be a, at least not a hard logic but a soft logic where where what i need to understand how much i need to understand how much deep yes. i need to understand how much broad i need to understand Great. so those are the things that is the mindset we need to have to uh, that that mindset i developed over time in the mentorship program whatever you provided thank you for that so um, so there should be a, okay the broader concept what are the things i need to understand what are the definitions i need to know and how much i need to read in that specific concept and how, what concept i need to deeply understand for the pmp project perspective and my future career so those are the things uh, i felt hard when i started my pmp without the mentorship and then when i got the mentorship yes it was it gave me a greater clarity on what i need to focus to pass the pmp and to understand the concept and uh, how how i should approach the exam to pass the pmp okay this is really insight you have uncovered here people doesn't know about it when they start doing the preparation they collect thousands of materials and that's one of the biggest mistake and they keep getting advices guidance from xyz people so someone will tell okay read this amount other will tell no read this amount this is not sufficient or go through another material watch another video so they get exhausted in that and that is what you did do you enter into the program where you got the clarity to got the boundary right to got the limit okay that this is your start and this is your end and that is what change your overall pmp journey perspective right that is what you yes. want to say and that is really important otherwise you will keep preparing keep studying that will be never end it that will be never end it because we have thousands of book thousands of questions thousands of simulator based on the pmp so you will be never ended up with that so that is what you didn't do like other is doing i have seen people took the training 5 years ago 7 years ago till today they are saying i am not ready for the exam because because of that reason they are keep studying different books they are keep getting advices from xyz people they don't have one specific mentor they don't have one specific expert who is there with them at all the time to support so uh, okay. that's really a great insight from you uh, i can say in this conversation second thing i would like to know uh, can you just figure out almost how many uh, sample question you had practice before taking the exam almost i almost got around 1000 or 2500 plus uh, sample questions along, uh, from you and along okay. with that i solved many of the online uh, pre mock tests which uh, which are available freely around i can say that 3000 to 3500 i solved uh, with um, almost all the difficulty levels and uh, yes so um, i was not uh, obviously the more than 70 or 80% because of the difficulty level and other um, yeah. other aspects which i have not might not have covered and there, there may be a, they may be concentrating on the broader uh, picture and uh, different uh, perspective uh, for the exams yes so uh, around 3500 to 4000 i solved but uh, uh, the whatever the mocks you provided were uh, very good quality and uh, Uh, that helped me a lot into uh, getting this uh, exam pass successfully all right so here we need to understand also that uh, pass the pmp exam it is not required to practice 10000 or 20000 of questions most important is that practice the quality question okay practice the good questions 2000 to 3000 is going to be sufficient you will have enough this amount of question to clear your concept and then at last before taking the exam how many simulator have you practiced 
so uh, i didn't have uh, had any simulator purchase but uh, the five mock tests whatever you uh, provided so okay. i strictly adhered to my timeline the 60 okay. minutes per uh, for 60 questions and um, strictly adhered to the timeline and i solved um, 60 questions then i took a break and it's kind of a simulator only i used and uh, as advised by you and uh, i cleared all the mock questions uh, okay. five mock so, questions so here let me clear to the people that before exam you must practice emulator that should be consecutively 4 to 5 and you have to take the simulator exam in the same manner like you are going to take in the real exam like here 60 questions 60 questions and 60 questions you have to take 10 minutes break then take another shifty take the 10 minutes break and last shifty you can end up with your exam so in the same pattern you should practice at least four to five consecutive mock test before taking real exam that's clear right krishna you did the same way yes and uh, do you want to give any tips three to four tips to the future aspirants so that exactly. they can uh, get some uh, help they can include in their preparation yes i'll uh, go through quick uh, tips uh, which i followed so uh, you provided me the concept of keeping the error logs so uh, whatever the um, uh, the questions we attempted wrongly and that i need to keep in one place uh, specifically you said excel so uh, that i need to keep and i need to track it and i need to read those concepts and i need to get clarified on that so okay. yes that helped me a lot Uh, along with that i i did a different approach uh, maybe um, i had enough time uh, planned for it and yeah. uh, whatever the questions i marked as right also so i was uh, correct answers also which i but i was not confident with the guess work or with the uh, uh, the three questions eliminated one question uh, those kind of uh, guess work so okay. i marked as right and it went as right those questions mm-hmm. also i marked i marked it and then i went through the explanations the explanations for the answers either in the rita or whatever the mock you provided is a great source of uh, knowledge area for us which uh, which increases our knowledge instantly because we know certain concept but there we will get the insight of what other concepts are there what other keywords are there so those keywords if you are finding in any of your resources uh, then you go and search research over there so otherwise if you are not finding anywhere i was going and searching in the internet and getting some knowledge on that so that i get prepared for those kind of related questions if it comes in exam so not only the error not not only the questions you marked as wrong but if you have a time go through the explanation of all the answers so that you will maybe may not be a deep reading a shallow reading so just go through it if you find any new keywords new new technology terminologies go through it explore some time invest some time on that it will give you a great insight of uh, how broader the how broader you need to read but how much you need to read so that is the one tip i will definitely share with um, all the future emp aspirants so okay. other than that yes so the five mock exams or whatever the mock exams quality mock exams mm-hmm. uh, so that is going to decide uh, how you will attempt in a exam so if you are strictly following the timelines for 60 minutes 60 questions then you will get a enough time in the exam in a real exam to attempt all the questions and so you will have a, a half an hour or uh, maybe i had uh, 45 minutes extra after uh, attempting all the questions i felt that okay 45 minutes extra after reviewing all the questions also so i did i ended exam just uh, uh, before uh, half an hour so you will get a enough time and you will get a confidence when you have the time so you can actually you can you can think more you can do more and you can uh, you can read more understand more so several things that which you, if you have a time you can do and you can you the chances of putting the right answer or the question which you need to understand um, um, the chances will increase increase so that is the second tip and uh, for the exam specifically uh, for the exam and the mock when you are uh, giving so i would suggest you uh, suggest like so what i did is so you take exam like a marathon so don't think too much on a single question so take just read once or twice maximum twice just read once or twice find the keywords and if you are not finding a right answer if you are not understanding the question uh, review flag it for review and go to the next questions at the end of the 60th question you will have a lot of time to review that 
so specifically for the calculation questions and specific and uh, the longer paragraph where you are not uh, understanding the concept and you need more time to understand don't spend more than 1 minute for that so go to the next question flag it for review or i suggest uh, select any of the answers and uh, flag it for the review so once you have all the 60 questions answered you will have enough time to understand and you can under, uh, you can you can read the uh, question carefully and uh, get the right answer that help me a lot in uh, identifying the right answers for the questions which are longer paragraph like questions and situational questions so specifically now the situational questions are increasing in the pmp so um, like uh, the transition from Uh, the waterfall or predictive method to the agile method so those are the cases you need to identify to which to to which category whether it's a predictive model or whether it's a agile model or the hybrid model so the that question pertain to and ag- accordingly you need to answer so the question the answer four answers will always have the uh, the terminologies uh, in the all the three all the two agile and the predictive uh, approach uh, which you need to select the right answer for the right uh, uh, for the right um, uh, uh, the right waterfall or the uh, the uh, adaptive approaches so to identify that you need to understand the keywords whatever they are giving in a uh, whatever they are giving in a question so like a product owner uh, the role they are giving or the uh, the plans they are giving those are the, the those are the, those are the keywords you need to identify and first understand what is the methodology they are using whether it's agile or predictive so so based on that you need to select the answer there are so many distractors in that but you need to decide first what is the methodology they are they are they are, they are point, pointing out then accordingly you can answer it will be a very helpful for you for the identifying the right answer. all right right so i like to brief it to the b one the first uh, tips uh, from the krishna was record all your mistakes all your doubts in the error log so keep one error log so that you can keep reviewing it whenever you are getting time during the preparation and by doing it it is going to have a great register for you to go through before one day or two days of your exam to refresh all your knowledge second tips that what he given is managing the time in the exam managing the time in the in exam is really important if you are spending more time on one question it will impact the subsequent questions okay if you spend more question and uh, then you found the time is running and there are lots of more question to be uh, solved then you will start doing more mistakes so manage your time wisely don't spend more than 1 minutes if there is any lengthy question definitely you can spend some more uh, seconds okay like 1 uh, minutes or maybe 2 minutes for some a specific really lengthy question is there then otherwise you have to keep manage one minute per question uh, also you can review those questions whatever the flag question you had you can review before submitting or before taking the break right so it was something from vishnu because uh, everyone has unique story everyone has unique approach a strategy for cracking uh, the or to getting the success in whatever areas they are so here we are talking about the pmp success so yes krishna uh, can you just give us insight like type of questions you got uh, like based on the new type of questions uh, how many questions you got on the fill in fill in the blanks or uh, drag and drop and other matching type of questions can you just brief in the quantity some yes. mathematical questions also yes yes so i got uh, three mathematical questions one specifically from the agile other two are from the uh, calculation cvm uh, evm calculation so uh, so those are pretty pretty straight forward if you know the formula you can uh, crack it easily mm-hmm. um, the other so most of the questions are situational and it is from the transition from the predictive to agile and uh, the challenging environment how you will uh, how you will manage those challenging environment uh, um, stakeholder management in the uh, hybrid approach and uh, um the communication how you will approach the communication management plans and the resource management plans in the hybrid the transition from uh, agile so the transition from predictive to agile and uh, um the lot of questions on the burn uh, burn down chart burn up chart and the uh, the kpi how you will uh, under how you will 
uh, how we will measure the matrix or the KPI in the agile. So those are the concepts um, I got the question and the uh, the the match the following or the uh, the match the following questions there were almost three questions for the match the following uh, so i need to drag and drop the right answers from the left to right um, apart from that uh, yeah so these are the composition of questions i got. Right. so people should not worry about uh, drag and drop and fill in the blanks and the new yes. questions because it will be having a, a, a very less quantity let's say uh, it will be total uh, 10 questions if we can add all the different type of question it will be 10 questions so you can say uh, let's say 10 question is somewhere 5 to 7 percent right uh, of total values yes. and the rest of the question is the like the old format exam right four choices questions yes. right yes. and uh, did you see any term that was unknown for you because this exam is based on PM book 7 and you took this exam without looking into PM book 7. So did you find any new terms which you felt that this is new and I haven't read it somewhere and uh, most probably that contents belongs to the PM book 7. So did you realize it? Uh, there were no such uh, questions which I found which are unknown to uh, me. Uh, at least the the concept or the abbreviations or the new new terminology they provided. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, so maybe that may be because uh, I read the uh, the glossary whatever you uh, suggested, the um, uh, PIMBOX seven glossary, and I went to the the concepts you uh, the concepts you highlighted in the WhatsApp group which I went through but uh, I didn't felt like uh, so any of the questions are uh, from the PIMBOX 7 because the concept is the concept wise it is same the PIMBOX 7 and PIMBOX 6 um, okay. only the few of the terminologies are different, so, these are different but, uh, it, can didn't. Breaking, it can be breaking information for the people Correct. who are in you know scaring a lot they are talking a lot about PMBOX 7 and PMBOX 6 the gossip is going around that now PM Book 7 is released and whoever has read PM Book 6, they need to read the PM Book 7 to take the exam. So here is the breaking information that Krishna sitting with us, he is clearly telling that nothing he found unknown. Means he read the PM Book 6 and he cracked the exam. So if you are reading PM Book 6 along with Azile stuff, you don't need to bother about the PM Book 7. Am I right, Krishna? Yes, correct. But still, if you want to read PM Book 7, it is already released. Definitely, you can go through that. But whoever is reading PM Book 6 along with Azile, that people also should continue reading the PM Book 6 with Azile and take their exam. That's what I can suggest this one. Don't jump right away to the PM Book 7. If you have almost read the PM Book 6 with Azile and you want to plan your exam within a week or two weeks or three weeks, don't jump right away on the PM Book 7. You will be having a huge confusion. So don't do that mistake, right? Krishna. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So anything else apart from our discussion in your mind, do you want to share here? I think so. Uh, almost, uh, almost we covered all the concepts here, all the lessons learned. So uh, if you don't mind, uh, what is your next plan? Which certification you want to hit? <laughs> Not yet decided, but definitely I want to pursue some something related to the Agile, either a Scrum Master or the ACP. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay. yeah, so no problem. Two to three uh, weeks I need to. I wish decide. you more success, and I wish you also that. Uh, the goal which uh, you have achieved, the target and the aim was behind the PMP should be fulfilled now. And uh, for the SAP, if you if you are looking, definitely we have the SAP program also running. Anytime if you want, you can join that group as well. So sure, sure, wish you all the best, Krishna, and Thank be you. in touch because now you are sure. at PMP. It is very difficult to get your time. <laughs> so I do not want to take more time from you. And uh, this conversation, uh, if uh, short, definitely people can watch and get value from this conversation. So let's wind up this conversation and definitely be in touch. And uh, in the offline, we are going to talk sure, sir. most often. Thank you, Samir. It's a pleasure meeting you face to face. And uh, Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Krishna, for your uh, time and for your valuable information on the PMP journey. Thanks a lot. Okay.